and welcome back to the channel and before I tell you what I'm going to talk about on this video I did want to mention that uh, this is going to be a ride in 95 degree sunshine which kind of surprised me uh, temperatures gotten a little higher than the predicted high I think it was predicted around 90 but we're about 95 as I hopped on the bike here for this ride so in this video I wanted to talk not about the weather but about bike speed and yesterday or the day as I'm filming this video you're seeing it the next uh, day uh, I put up a poll on YouTube asking about the ideal speed for an e-bike, what you'd like to see for speed. And th the options are less than 20 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, 28 miles per hour, or more than 28 miles per hour. And if you're choosing more than 28, maybe let us know in the comment uh, how fast your preference would be for top uh, e-bike speed, a legal speed. I voted more than 28 miles per hour and it's situational it depends on where I'm riding and I'll explain that in just a minute but I uh, wrote uh, more than 28 and I put 35 as my uh, ideal maximum speed and the reason why I chose 35 because a lot of the streets around unless they're a more of a more of a major road are 30 to 35 miles per hour and if there's no bike lane that would give you a uh, you know being able to uh, ride right with the cars and feel maybe more safer than riding on the side of the road and having cars pass you which is always dangerous uh, especially when there's no bike lane but even when there is a bike lane it can be dangerous if you uh, are riding in the bike lane and say a truck with wide mirrors is coming by you it can get pretty close but uh, when I say situational it depends on the situation because where you're riding if you're going to be riding on a trail then you're not going to be riding no 28 or 35 or even 20 miles per hour. I think I think a good fair speed for a trail, especially a busy one that's shared with pedestrians, is 15 miles per hour, and I agree with that one. But uh, then there's other times if you're riding on the road with a bike lane and it's not an overly fast road. 20 25 miles an hour then you don't need to go more than the, the limit of speed for that road even though you're in the bike lane um, and I think 35 at times if you're like I say on a road that's maybe it's even 40 miles per hour and there's nobody around you can just you know ride along at 35 um, or so and what prompted this topic for me was that I had a comment on YouTube, one of the videos, saying that I'm, I'm uh, one of the reasons why e-bikes are being banned because I'm riding a motorcycle, an e-motorcycle, which uh, is what the comment they made, but I... what's going on here so 
that prompted me to do this question because I thought, well, I, I'm, it's not the first time I've heard a comment like that, and it probably won't be the last, I'm sure. And I think it just bothers some people that if they see a bike, even though the video that they watched or commented on, I wasn't riding beyond, I think about 25. And so anyway, um, I think it doesn't matter to some people, they're gonna say just because it looks like a motorcycle, it is a motorcycle. Well, if you take the headlight off this bike, I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti, by the way. If you take the headlight off, then does it really look like a motorcycle? And looks aren't everything. If it were a full-blown motorcycle, it better have more features than it does on it, like a full set of lights and and a horn and the whole bit. It doesn't have any of that. It has a headlight and a tail light and a brake light. So I will leave a link in the description on where to find that poll question or you can also click on my YouTube community page and that's where you'll see the poll question. So, uh, go ahead and make your vote, and I'm curious to see the early uh, results that I saw just moments after I posted, I think was three quarters, I think, were uh, already on the side of more than 28 miles per hour, so I don't know where this is going to wind up. I think it's going to be, I think I'm going to say 28 miles per hour is going to get a lot of votes as well as more than 28 miles per hour. I think those two are going to be the highest, but uh, we shall see. That's purely a guess. I have no idea, but that's just a guess on my part. But I will leave a link in the uh, description as mentioned. I saw that fire truck there. I'm sure that's a medical emergency. I don't see no fire or anything. And uh, got a nod from the fireman. He's, I think he's cool with the bike. coasting right now and uh, saving a little battery right there 21 miles per hour as we coast around that's the way to do it use zero battery All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I wanted to uh, uh, mention about this poll because I, I'm curious to see where everyone votes on, on it. And um, we'll see if I'm correct or not. I think 28 miles per hour is going to get a lot of votes and the more than 28 is going to get a lot of votes. If I was guessing, 
as to which one will get the most boy i don't know i think the 28 miles per hour is probably going to get the most but we'll see I, like i say i voted more than 28 i think i'd like to see it go as high as 35 miles per hour and and of course that's going to be up to the rider if you choose to ride that fast and the for me it would be the situation where i'm riding But uh, if your bike can handle it and you don't mind riding in it and you're safe and all, then I see no issues with that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave uh, that in the comments below. And also don't forget to uh, make your vote cast on the, uh, the poll. And I will leave a link in the description. Otherwise, you can go to the community page on the channel. And you can go right there and make your uh, vote. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.